You have a quiz on Thursday. It will be multiplying and dividing decimals. It will include positives and negatives. If you know how to multiply and divide decimals like we did in our warm-up, the rules still apply. If it's two positive numbers like our warm-up, the answer will be positive. If it's one positive, one negative, the answer will be negative. If there's two negatives, the answer will be positive. That's the easy part. Today, though, we're going to talk about base tens. Is that what you call it, Mrs. Armstrong? That's what we call it. Okay, base tens. If you're not copying this down, I'm very, very confused. When we have decimals, it is important to know what the decimal places are called. Because you today will have to change decimals to fractions so that you can multiply and divide a decimal by a fraction. It is much easier than it sounds. This number here is in what place? What would we call this place after the decimal? And I should see more than one hand. If I gave you an example like this, this isn't 3.7. How would I say this number? Come on, I need more than two, three hands. I need some hands. Let's go. Most of us should know how to say this. Go ahead, Brooklyn. No, how would I say this number? Three and seven tenths. The number after the decimal is tenths. Okay? You have to know this. What's next? What do you think, Ada? Hundredths. Very good. The next number is hundredths. So we've got tenths. We've got hundredths. What's next? Layton? Thousands. Thousandths. And actually, we'll, do, we'll go one more. And then we'll stop there. I had a lot of zeros. What's next? Go ahead, on. Ten thousand. Ten thousandths. Okay. If you have a decimal, you can change the decimal to a fraction. So, the directions say change to a fraction. As easy as that. So, here's our first problem. Point four. Before you can change it to a fraction, you have to be able to say it correctly. If you cannot say it, you are going to have trouble changing it to a fraction. How would we say this number, Kendall? Four times? Or... Yeah, say it. Four what? Four times. Four tenths. So, once we say that it's tenths, my denominator needs to be what number? Maddie, what do you think my denominator is going to be if it's tenths? Ten. What will be my numerator, you think? Yeah. Four tenths can be written as four over ten, because the way that I would say this is four tenths. Everybody good? Okay. 
Let's try this one. A little bit trickier. How would I say this number, Cece? 0 0.06. <laughs> so we don't say the point we just say six say it again six hundredths okay notice it's not 60 it's six so if it's six hundredths Lauren what's going to be my denominator 100. beautiful honey what will be my numerator six is this hard? If you know how to say it, you know the denominator. So now, let me give you another problem. I'm going to mix it up on you a little bit. Hmm. This says three tenths multiplied by five sevenths. Well, here's my first question to you. Which is easier to change? Is five sevenths easier to change to a decimal? Or is three tenths easier to change to a fraction? What do you think, Owen? Three tenths. To what? To a fraction. To a fraction. The decimal is always going to be easier to change to a fraction. Taylor Adams, how would I write three tenths as a fraction? Beautiful. Bring the rest of the problem down. Multiplied by five over seven. Wait a minute. Didn't we quiz on this? Didn't you do very well on this? Well, okay. Maybe you're like, oh, I didn't. Yes. The average score was like an 84. You guys did pretty darn well. We know how to multiply fractions. Renee, what's my first step? What am I going to multiply first? The numerator is great mathematical terminology. So I multiply 3 by 5, which is 15. What's next, Blaze? So we multiplied the numerators, now we multiply the? Denominator. Which is? 10 times 7. 10 what? You say something better than times. Multiplied by 7. Very good. We are going to be mathematicians by the time that we're done. 10 multiplied by 7 is 70. Folks, you know how to do this. I'm a mathematics rock star on a Tuesday. Bam, new sweater and all. I feel so good about myself doing this. <laughs> Crush. Daddy, why's your hand up? Daddy, you need to simplify it. Addy, why are you telling me that I need to simplify this? You're not wrong. Why do I need to simplify it? Very good. It is divisible by 5. Yeah. 15 divided by 5 is 3. 70 divided by 5. Oh, man. That's a slow Tuesday. 5 goes into 7 once. 5, subtract 2, bring down the 0, 24, shoo! Because both the numerator and denominator are divided by the same number, Addy knew that they were divisible by 5. Therefore, my answer is 3 over 14. 3 fourteenths. Addy, proud of you. Great job. Questions? Let's try... Two more. That's it. Two more. Here we go. So here's number two. Oh, let me put my camera back because we can't see the problem. Hey, hey, Pleasant Hill Central Office. Next thing for next year, I'd also like a nice camera with a stand that I can upload these videos that's not at home via my internet. So that I can do it at school, just saying. Okay, next. Let's go. 32 hundredths. Actually, no, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. It was. Let's go. Five hundredths. 
divided by 4 thirds. So 5 hundredths divided by 4 thirds. So we should have this problem written down. I want you to start thinking about what you would do. I'm going to give you about 20 seconds to at least rewrite the problem. Oh, I'm seeing some really good things. I'm seeing some really good things. I love it. Good, Kendall. Good job, Elizabeth. Good job, Ada. You guys are doing very, very well. Okay, so all I said is let's rewrite it. Kendall, how am I going to write this first number? Um, I'm going to write it as a fraction. Okay, which is? 5 over 100. 5 divided by 100 is 5 100ths then it's still divided by 4 divided by 3. Does everybody agree that that's now a problem that I can work with? I don't like it. Why not, Jackson? Great math for The reciprocal of what? Okay, so rewrite, because it's a division problem. We, can't, we can divide fractions, we just have to rewrite it. So can you help me rewrite the whole problem? Over 100 divided by, or times, what? multiplied by, by 3 fourths. Very good. 5 100 multiplied by 3 fourths. The reciprocal of 4 divided by 3 becomes 3 divided by 4. The numerator becomes the denominator, denominator becomes the numerator. And now we multiply. Jenna, what do I do first? Um, you multiply Which is? Okay, so 5 multiplied by 3 is? Good. And then, let's go Ms. King. Um, multiply What are those numbers called? Um, we multiply the numerators? Denominators. denominators. And what does that give me? 400. Good. Okay. I know that we can simplify this because in the ones column we have a 5, we have a 0. When that happens, they are divisible by 5. 15 divided by 5 is 3. Nice and easy. But I need a little bit more help in math here. 5 goes into 48 times. 8 times 5 is 40. That's 0. Bring down the 0. 5 goes into 0, 0 times. We're good. So that leaves me with... 3 80ths. Questions on this one? Okay. Last one on your own. Let's go. Number 3. Let's go. Okay. So, 0.42 divided by 1 over 3. We should be getting close. Make sure you simplify.
proud of how hard you guys are working. I'm looking forward to this quiz. So the breakdown is going to be, you're going to get homework tonight. You're going to have a quiz on Thursday because we have guidance day tomorrow. Friday, we're working on word problems. Monday, you're going to get your review packet. Tuesday, we're going to go over your review. By next, or no, by next Wednesday, we're going to be testing. Now, I know I said Monday. We don't have school Monday, so it's going to back it up. But anyway, you have a test next week. Either way. Wait, why don't we have school Monday? I don't know. It's a day off. Okay, Mr. Viscovi, you ready? This is 42 one hundredths. How would I rewrite this as a fraction? Yeah, 42 above, 42 above 100. Instead of saying above, 42 is going to be what type of number? Can you use a mathematical word? It's the... Starts with an N. It's all right, Mr. Little, help him out. 42 is called what when it's in a fraction? A numerator. Numerator. Hundreds the denominator. So I'm rewriting 42 hundredths divided by one third. May I leave it like this, Miss Cornwell? No, rewrite it for me. Very good. What did you do to the one third? Make it a reciprocal. So now we may multiply across. Numerator multiplied by the numerator. I'll come off to the side so you can see how it's done. 6, 3 times 4 is 12, so that's 126 divided by 100. Woo woo! Crushing it. Carly? I have to simplify. What am I going to simplify by? Divide by 2. I know 100 divided by 2 is 50. But let's see what 126 is. 2 goes into 12. 6 times 6 times 2 is 12. That's 0. 6, 2, 3. Yeah. And it gives me 63 fiftieths. Put your hand on your heart if you got that one correct. Beautiful. Questions on this? Nothing's too hard, right? Okay.